snap of a leg kick, return to the midsection from Shintani. It's interesting watching Shintani, Jeremy, not much head movement from him. Very stationary from the shoulders up. Well, again, he's very quick with his movement side to side with his legs. And uh, in lieu of head movement, you can, uh, if you could move and get out of the way with your legs, then why not? Because you're going to set yourself up. The problem with moving your head down in a way is if your opponent baits you and you move your head down, you can get rocked pretty hard. So uh, it's, it's not orthodox, but uh, definitely effective when it comes to Craig Shintani. Again, both fighters kind of exchanging leg kicks. Shintani landing the bulk at this point. A couple feeler jabs. Both fighters measuring their distances. Pretty explosive kicks. Now, the, the mark of a really good uh, strike with the feet is that the kick comes down almost as fast as it comes back up. And uh, you're seeing that here with both these guys, very excellent striking. And uh, if any one of these connect really hard, it uh, could do a lot of damage. Again, more leg kicks from Shintani, answered in kind from Nickel. Both fighters very quick on their feet here in the early going and looking to kind of take that away from their opponent. Now Shintani comes in, we'll see what he does here up against the cage as he takes, attempts the takedown, almost trips twice now and we'll be looking for the trip here of Terry Nickel up against the cage but Nickel doing a nice job, Jeremy, of defending and using that cage as that third leg. Yeah, I was talking to CEO Ari Tobe, and that's exactly the words he used, is he uses it as a third leg. You get your one leg taken out, and then you can double up there by using the cage to uh, protect you from falling down. So good job here by Terry Nickel using the cage as he needs it. Shintani, though, continuing to work and drive knees. Now you can see some of the welts on the leg of Nickel now starting to grow after Shintani continues to drop knees with two and a half minutes to go in the first round of this professional matchup. Good pummeling in by both guys and uh, trying to get the underhooks. And now I was about to say, uh, Terry Nickel taking Shintani into the cage, but Shintani, an excellent job of using momentum and continuing the turn and pushing Nickel back up in the cage. Shintani Jerry really seems to be looking to work this clinch and continue to drive strikes. We've seen earlier th tonight throughout the event that the refs have not been, uh, uh, the refs have had no hesitation in breaking fighters apart, separating them if the, the action's not continuing. But uh, so far, so good for Craig Shintani. Well, he does keep the action going. And again, using the cage excellently is Terry Nickel to stay on his feet. But, uh, now some foot stomps. Now the foot stomp is one of those moves that was very prevalent in MMA at the very beginning. And it slowly, slowly, slowly started to work its way out. And now they've been making a comeback. It hurts a whole lot to get your foot stomped on. And Craig Shintani is trying to use that to his advantage. Trying the throw and does secure the takedown. Craig Shintani now on top of Craig Nickel. And you say, Jeremy, foot stomps making a comeback. It's one of those things that when it fades out uh, of fashion, it will fade back in because guys stop expecting it. Guys just stop being on the lookout for it. And, and that will happen with all kinds of uh, uh, submissions as well. They'll, they'll fade in and out of fashion as guys stop looking for it as readily as they do other things. Well, and we haven't seen one guillotine attempt tonight, which is a shock. And you talk about the uh, people, fade, uh, submissions fading in and out. The, the reason the foot stomp is so effective is it has no padding there. It's not like kicking a, a calf or a thigh. There's no padding on the foot. And uh, you break one of those bones in the foot, you're going to have an easy win of that fight. Shintani continuing to work while on top. Nickel trying to get out. But uh, Shintani doing a very good job here, Jeremy, in the early going of cage control. He's fighting the fight where he wants to fight it, and he, he's really holding Nickel down. He was holding him up against the cage, and uh, with just over 10 seconds remaining here in round number one, Shintani looks to have secured himself a 10-9 round. The crowd's chanting, Nickel, 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 and he gives them a head kick 
for their trouble. A couple nice jabs there from Shintani. Good body kick back from Terry Nickel. Again, almost no, uh, Shintani light on his feet when he's moving, but uh, very stationary in between strikes. He's got his head, you know, in one spot. It's, it's not really moving. And, and Terry Nickel unable to take advantage of it th to this point with punches, Jeremy. Well, and he really hasn't. And, and I, I say, you know, why, why move your head unless you don't necessarily need to? And when uh, Terry Nickel hasn't really thrown many strikes at the head, uh, don't necessarily get out of the way. It's wasted energy. And uh, as we are into our first uh, first minute here, you look at Shin Tani being pushed up against the cage, but then reversing. And uh, now he's got the advantage, and we're back to a position we saw a lot of in round one. Shintani has Nickel up against the cage. Nickel going to try and find his way out of there. Some knees being exchanged. Again, the foot stomp to the top of Terry Nickel, who responds to it with a heel to the shin, Jeremy. Yeah, any way you can do damage, and these knees are doing damage on the outside of the thigh and uh, being returned equally by Shintani to the inside of the thigh. So very Good striking here. This very clinical striking by both these guys. Again, now Nickel trying to fire some foot stomps back Shintani's way. It's the old revenge factor. You step on my foot, I'll step on your foot. Less popular than the you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, but nevertheless, still especially the same the, effect. Especially in the MMA cage, but a nice takedown here by Craig Shintani. Works a nice double leg and has Terry Nickel up against the cage again. Still working, continuing to work here. Craig Shintani has, has effectively had a dominant position for the vast majority of this fight so far, Jeremy. Yeah, a, an effective job, and uh, you see Terry Nickel landing a few shots from, from underneath, but in the eyes of the judges, although those do make some impact, they're not as impactful, you know, it could almost be uh, for every five shots from the bottom is worth one good shot from the top. There's a bit of a swarm attack from Shintani as Nickel was trying to get back to his feet. He does get back to his feet, but again, Shintani relentless up against the cage, Jeremy, continuing to work, continuing to strike, and doing everything he can to show the judges that he deserves to have this round. A nice knee there, and now, uh, as we mentioned, no guillotines yet attempted in the night, but uh, some nice knees being landed, and uh, that one dropped. Craig Shintani to his knees momentarily, but back up and securing the takedown. So Shintani has him down again and has him up against the cage. But we'll see whether or not Terry Nickel is able to work with that guillotine. Now he's let it go. And Shintani again dropping punches and continuing to work with him, trying to sink in the hooks. He's got one hook in. We'll see if he can get the other one in and take his back. There it is, and that choke is deep. Might just be a matter of time here, Jeremy. His arm is under the chin. Nickel doing everything he can to fight his way out of it and almost looked like he was going to tap there, Jeremy, but he does pull out, and there it is. Terry Nickel taps, and Craig Shintani moves to 2-1. and one.